What's up, Guhomi? I'm Chris. And I'm Ethan. Today we have another Topic Tuesday, an overview of 8th grade, the winners of Guhomi Games. Students of the Week, a recap of the prep pep rally, and some school announcements. Sounds fun. Yeah, it does. And GPA TV starts, starts right, right now. Check out who won the Guahomi Games this year. Yeah. Hopefully, eighth grade won. Yeah. Wow, it's been so long. Oh, wow. So nice to see you today. You too. I'm so excited to be here to present this award. Hi. Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. It's Isn't beautiful. it gorgeous? I'm so excited. So, we are here today to present the winner of the Guahomi Games Challenge. What is that? Okay. The Guahomi Games are. Uh, basically, whoever has participated the most in our Spirit Week activities for the whole school year. Uh, they participated in uh, the games, in the dress-ups, in the dances, what else? There were behavior expectations as well. Uh, now, I wonder, what do they get if they win other than this beautiful trophy? Beautiful trophy with a Gohomi frog. It's amazing. But they also get a trip off campus. Fantastic. Well, I'm excited to see who the winner is. Are you? Me too. Let's figure it out. Envelope, please. And the winner of the 2016-2017 Guahomi Games are... I'm so excited. I don't know who it's going to be. Seventh grade! Now, to accept the trophy for seventh grade is seventh grade president, Aaliyah Cortez. Congratulations. I'd like to thank all the 7th graders. Great job, guys. It's been an honor being your president. Bye! Oh, congrats oh, yeah. to whoever that was. Now let's take a look at an overview of 8th grade with Serenity Serta. As we 8th graders know, this is our last year of middle school, and in June, we will be promoting a high school. So today, I'm here to ask 8th graders about their middle school experience and some advice they will give to 6th and 7th graders. What was your 8th grade experience like? Um, it was good I guess. It was pretty fun. I don't like middle school, but um, there are some parts that were good, but then the rest are just throwaways. I met some people that I liked and some that I didn't. I'm so happy to be moving on to high school. It was something new that I haven't experienced. I mean, wonderful. I met new people, so yeah. Oh, I met new people. Nothing different, nothing out of the ordinary. It's just basically getting older. What is your favorite moment of middle school? Mm, moment? Like eighth grade or like completely middle school? Any middle, like middle school experience. Um. Meeting new people? One memory from my middle school experience. Oh God. Hold on, I gotta think of one. I guess meeting new people and like those friends that you have for three years, you know who you are. Any advice for incoming eighth graders? Always do your work. Never do it before the period. Do it at home. And never bring a rolly backpack. If you have a rolly backpack, shame on you. No. <laughs> um, don't be mean to teachers because they can be mean to you. Do your work and don't slack off. And then <laughs> and don't like be bothered by other people. Like just do your own thing and don't listen to what other people say, I guess. Yeah. Okay. During our middle school years, we gained a lot of memories that will stay with us forever and friends to go along with that. So with that, I say goodbye middle school and hello high school, because watch out, we're going to give it our all. Now back, back to the studio! <laughs> Thanks, Serenity. Yeah, that, I'm very knowledgeable now. I'm going to have so many memories. We have a limited number of yearbooks left. Purchase yours now for $75 before they sell out. Books can be purchased in the finance office or online at JostensYearbooks.com. 
Are you gonna get one? Probably. They're a lot of money, but it's it's it wor it's worth the middle school memories. Yeah. <clears throat> now a special weather report with Mr. Cedeno's sixth grade class. Today your favorite news channel is here with some weather. Well, that's right, Mr. Harrison. And now on to Miss Skyler with the temperatures. Hello, go homie. And today it looks like we're going to be having some clouds throughout this the week. And we're, it looks like we're going to have it in mid 60s for the high average day, and for the high low, we're going to be having high 50s for Wednesday. Wednesday, it looks like it, we will have the average about 64 degrees for the for the high, and about 54 for the low. Thursday, our high is going to be in the high 60s and our low is going to be in the low 50s. You might want to grab your sweaters because it's going to be chilly. Now for Friday, the day we all wait for in the week. The uh, high will be in the low 70s, heating up a bit compared to earlier in the week. And it's going to be in the low 60s for the high, for the average low. You, so you might want to rethink that sweater idea. Now into Miss Pike with the precipitation and humidity levels. Thank you, Miss Skyler. And now, as you can see, we're just getting out of a cold front, so the weather should start calming down again. For the rest of the week, we're expected no rainfall. Today for the humidity, we have 69%. Tomorrow, we will have our humidity levels at 73%. On Thursday, the humidity will be 66, and on Friday, it will be 64. Now, on to the hot spots. Today, it will be hottest in the basketball court, along with the lunch tables. Along with the lunch tables. And especially, the parking lot. And now on to Harrison with the four-day weather forecast. Tuesday, it'll be sunny. And on Wednesday, it'll be partly cloudy. On Thursday, you'll have some sun. Over here, on Friday, you'll also have some sun. And, and that's the weather for the week, bro, homie. Now back, back to the studio. You know, it's I'm, great. Now yeah. we know the weather. Yeah, I might not wear like shorts and ankle socks tomorrow, <laughs> but. Attention eighth graders, if you would like to sing the national anthem in this year's eighth grade promotion ceremony, please be ready to audition by singing the anthem in the amphitheater on Wednesday, May 17th at 3.15 after school. Absolutely. Now a topic Tuesday with Bethany and Amaya. What's up, Gohomi? I'm Bethany. And I'm Amaya. And, and we're, we're back, back with another, another episode of Topic Tuesday. Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about some of the top dog names, some popular songs on iTunes charts, and some of the top shows of 2017. I'm really excited because I love watching TV and I love listening to music. Me too. First off with the popular dog names here in the United States. The top name is Bailey and the following names are Bella, Max, Lucy, Charlie, Molly, and last but not least, Buddy. Can we have Buddy? I always hear that. I know, they're all, all so popular and I hear them all the time. Now we're going to talk about some of the top songs on the iTunes charts. The first one is Something Just Like This by The Chainsmokers. I love The Chainsmokers. I'm like their number one fan. They are good. They're so good. <laughs> Stay by Zed and Alessia Cara. It Ain't Me by Kygo and Selena. Issues by Julia Michaels. That's What I Like by Bruno Mars. Now or Never by Halsey. Sign of, the, Sign of the Times by Harry Styles. Harry Styles came out with a new song called Sweet Creatures and it's like my favorite song. Oh, I haven't heard it yet. You should listen to it. Okay, I will. And Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Now on to some of the top TV shows of 2017. Game of Thrones. Stranger Things. Pretty Little Liars. I love that show. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. Which is my favorite. The Flash. And 13 Reasons Why. I mean, so love many that. people love it. Love it. Everybody like watches it. And I heard it. they're coming out with season two. I know. I'm so excited. They always change your things. And I'm super excited for that. Yay. All right, go cool, homie. I'm Bethany. And I'm Amaya. And, and this, this was, was another, another episode, episode of Topic Tuesday. Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, go cool, homie. That was pretty Great. cool. Great. Now I got some tips. Yeah, me too. Now, let's congratulate the students of the week. Yeah. Uh, 
I flex rest styles that mesh like textile. A rock you don't stop. Get up to get down. Sit down, listen. Start the transmission. Don't get caught slipping. You know it sounds terrific. Sisters, brothers, in laws, and cousins. Stop all the fussing and start soul strutting. Huh, push the button. We up in the function. Surreal ass, please. No need for introduction. You know the sneeze. I spit and flow with ease. So we gonna make ways from here to overseas. It's the boom bap connection. True school perfection. To have all the true hip hop fans reflecting on why they got into this music in the first place. Ready. Congrats. Good job. Yeah. Congratulations <laughs> to those great students. Yeah. If you would like to deliver a speech in this year's 8th grade promotion ceremony, please be ready to audition your speech to Mr. OK after school in 4102 on Thursday, May 18th. Would you totally. want to speak? I mean, I'm already going to do the national anthem. <laughs> That's a good joke. Cut that out. Yeah. Let's take a look at the, the, the recap of the last school homing pep rally. That's pretty cool. I remember that. Pretty, pretty. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get big memories. <laughs> well, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of GPA TV. I'm Ethan. And I'm Chris. Signing, Signing out. out.